Sprint Rivalries, Sharika Jackson vs. Christine Mboma, 200 Meter Chronicles. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel to grow and we are on a mission to get to 10,000 subs. If you like our content, please hit that like button. It helps us to grow. The algorithms absolutely love it and it's absolutely free, people. Plus, me love it. <laughs> so, are you ready for this? Yep. Good to go. So today we look at two of Sprint's rising stars. Out of Jamaica, we have Sharika Jackson, a multifaceted talent. And from Namibia, a somewhat controversial yet very talented young lady by the name of Christine Mboma. I believe these two people have started what will become a legendary Sprint rival in the 200 meters. First up, let's look at their race at the Brussels Diamond League, which was the, the first time that these two remarkable talents went head to head against each other. Due to copyright infringement, I will not be able to show the entire race or the race in its entirety, but you'll get what's happening. Of course, everyone was ex excited when we heard that these two young talents would be going finally head to head against each other. As you can see, they were pretty much even right up until the last 10 meters when Mboma in a last burst of speed gets ahead of Sharika Jackson, running a phenomenal time, 21.84, while Jackson runs a extremely close 21.95. Mboma equals her world under 20 championships run and record of 21.84 and Sharika Jackson is just shy of her PB which is 21.82. It's interesting to note that both these athletes were formerly 400 meter runners. Jackson made the decision to step down and start running the 100 and 200 meters I guess to improve speed and of course diversity and Mboma was the Athletic Association basically stated that because of her testosterone levels, she would no longer be eligible to run the 400 meters, but was eligible to run the 200 meters. Hence why I said there's a little bit of controversy surrounding this very talented 18 year old. Sharika Jackson at age 27 has already established herself as one of the most talented multifaceted sprinters in the world, not just in Jamaica. At the Jamaica National Trials early this year in 2021, Jackson surprised many onlookers, myself included, when in the semi-finals, she ran an amazing PB in the women's 100 meters of 10.77. Now understand that Jackson was originally, as I stated earlier, a 400 meter runner and the step down surprised some. However, the, we did have an indication because in the World Championships in 2019 in Doha, she anchored us home, the women's 4 by 100 meters that is, to an amazing gold medal win and ran a spectacular 100 meters. But still, I believe many of us were surprised at this phenomenal showing in the 100 meters by a 400 meter runner. Jackson, of course, went on to run and come second behind Shelly and Fraser Price, the 200 meters. So we know that Jackson has incredible speed and stamina. Now, Christine Mboma, as I stated earlier, is a 400 meter specialist who surprised many when at the Tokyo Olympics 2020 held earlier this year in the women's 200 meter finals. She ran a scintillating 21.81 to take second behind the amazing Elaine thompson Hera. Later on in the race you're watching, she won the 200 meters in the world under 20, winning in a very impressive time of 21.84. A new 
World Athletics on the 20 Championship 200 meter record. So Mboma, in this short space of time, has also established tremendous stamina strength and that burst of speed that the world has now become accustomed to. But the question now becomes, can Sharika Jackson win against Christine Mboma? And I think the answer is unequivocally, yes. Both are remarkable tacticians, remarkable talent, and both are still very young. Of course, one has a distinct advantage in terms of years over the other. One is 18, one is 27. They next lined up against each other in the finals of the Diamond League at Zurich in 2021. Another highly anticipated race, seeing as how close the previous had been between both athletes. This was another banger. Again, right up until the last 10 meters, they are literally head to head, as you could see in that race. At the last 10 meters, Mboma squeaks out a win and manages to break the under 20 women's 200 meter world record with a remarkable time of 21.78. Very impressive. Jackson breaks her own PB and runs also a remarkable time of 21.81. It's very clear to me that there is a phenomenal 200 meter women's sprint rivalry brewing. They last meet at Zagreb in Croatia for another nail-biting race. Again, in the last 20 to 30 meters, it is the one and only Sharika Jackson who, who is ahead. But by that last 10 meters, once more, Christine Mboma ekes out a win, running 22.04, while Sharika Jackson runs 22.30. So I know some of you are going to be saying, Peter, it's, it's just three races, but people just look at it. They are almost equally matched in terms of just raw speed and talent. The last three races that we saw, they were pretty much equal. Christine just seems to have that meaning in Boma just has that little bit of extra drive. And the reason for this could simply be the length of the season that Sharika Jackson ran. Sharika Jackson ran a much longer season, so she could just have been tired. However, don't you dare take anything away from the talents of Christine Mboma of Namibia. She's remarkably gifted as a runner. And I think we are, you know, I, I am foreseeing something like a Gail Divas and a Merlin Otte coming up. I think once Sharika holds off on that initial speed in the burn phase because I think what happens is Christine holds back it's not that she gets faster which is impossible so I think Christine manages her race just a little better so that first hundred she goes out but not flat out she holds on to that speed and then the last 80 to the last 50 is when she does that final surge most 200 meter runners tend to do the reverse they get, they, they go all out for the first maybe 50, get through that curve really well, and then for the last 50, they push. And Boma does something a little different. I think once they race each other a little more, which is going to happen next season, I guarantee you, in the World Championships, and of course in the Diamond Leagues, I think you will see Jackson winning more and more and more, um, because at this point, I think the races are extremely even. It's just that last bit of strength and speed and, and, and burst of energy. And you have to give it up to Christine Mboma. At the same time, I have to give it up to Sharika Jackson. So I see an amazing rivalry ahead. I said this the first time I saw them race in Brussels in 2021, earlier this year. So just remember, I I've told you, I've said it, I predicted it. These two are going to be rivals for some time to come. And we're going to see them push each other to greatness to amazing speeds. Um, I really would love to hear your thoughts. You guys are so knowledgeable. 
once more i need to say this to you all so the channel just reached 6500 subs we're moving really quickly and it's simply because of you thank you guys very much kings and queens big up to the world out and a big up if you're not jamaican big up means enough respect and love um keep subscribing get the word out share the vlogs share the videos i know you're enjoying it remember to hit the like button it pushes up, uh, us up the algorithms um and youtube then shares out the the, the video every i realize that you all are as passionate about track and field as i am i mean i'm a massive fan of track and field um and i just want to say thank you for the support keep supporting keep sharing us out keep hitting the like and get yeah, you know and keep subscribing if this is your first time here uh, i really want to hear your opinion on this this rivalry people and as always you know what before i say that let me address this some of you are going to say because of the issue regarding testosterone um the race is, is uh, are unfair the truth is i trust the iaaf and their decisions and if they decided that the young lady can run in the 200 meters there must be a logical reason for it I think we are in for a treat between these two remarkable athletes and they're only going to push each other to greater and greater heights. Um, make sure you leave your comments. I'm sure you will. I'm, I, I will read them. I really enjoy reading your comments and sometimes responding. And as always, people, bless up.